Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Patera with you today. want to talk to you about an issue. This is totally a video that I don't want to make, but at the same time, I think it's a crucial issue that I think we need to talk about. And, um, you know, a lot of people, a lot of women probably wouldn't want to film uh, when they're sick, but at the same time, we try to bring our life to you, bring thoughts to you, um, empower you, if you will, with being prepared for lots of things and to, to understand the reality on a homestead. So we've got this little series going, which totally has just come totally organically. Totally. How many times can I say that? Um, would you starve? Really, the, thing, the, the main thing idea of that is um, a lot of folks want to be self-sustainable because they want to know that they can feed their family, especially in a time of crisis, okay? Let's be honest, okay? So the first video we did, we talked about that, about how much you should garden, how much food do you need, do you have a backup plan, etc., etc., etc. The second video came because you have to consider all kinds of elements when you are homesteading. Obviously, weather is huge, okay? So, again, goes back to a backup plan because if you lose your entire, you know, season of crops, what are you going to do till next year? So that was part two. Part three is coming to you today because this girl is struggling. Not the worst struggle I've ever had, but at the same time, I've had a really rough time the past couple of days. Long story short, I've had an allergic reaction to something. And um, we're not sure what, it's kind of like I, I was probably bitten by something and my body reacted. In fact, it reacted so hard, I broke out all across my neck, in the back of my neck, down my forehead, getting towards my eyes, la la la. So I had to seek pretty you know, serious medical treatment. Um, I'm doing a whole lot better, but my medication has got me suppressed uh, and uh, you know, pretty much to the point where now I'm dealing with an outbreak of shingles. We're not gonna show you that. So if you've never had something, a, a severe reaction to something, or if you've never had shingles, I'm telling you, it's, it, it's, 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 it can be pretty bad. Okay, this is not my first time to the rodeo with shingles. Um, I was bitten by a spider several years ago, so it's sort of changed the whole dynamics of my body and how I react to things, so we have to deal with that. But here is the thought. And I hesitated on making this video because this is not really, you know, a dramatic moment, but it's one that makes you think because we have a lot of work here on the farm. You probably guessed that. Uh, any homestead's going to. But when I'm down, it's just like in any home, when mama's not feeling good and mama's down, things suffer, right? We, we know that, that cute saying that we see all the time. Well, that's the, same, that's the same thing on a homestead. If you have particularly one person who is running the show, whether it's just a general homestead situation, what if you're in a crisis situation, okay? What if you're in a crisis situation where you, your family, other individuals are all having to work together to pull the weight on a homestead, okay? And there's one particular person that is the end all, has the main majority of knowledge in terms of animal husbandry, care, um, how to feed, schedule, crops, gardening, kind of like, let me just put it to you this way, it's kind of like your Herschel on The Walking Dead, okay? To me, that person has always been so critical in the group because of the animal husbandry skills and the farming skills and even medical skills, but so you have this one person that's holding all of these skill sets, for example, and something happens, they break a leg, uh, they have the flu, uh, something happens to this person and they're not available. Now, they may be able to tell you what to do, that's good, but at the same time, you, you're a man down. It's very serious. So this is the point of this video. Number one, know that this is going to happen in your family, your group, on your homestead. 
Somebody, if not more than one, is going to get sick in the winter time or in the early spring. If your entire family, that the, you, every one of you homestead and the rotavirus runs through your family for a week to 10 days, you're going to have a really tough time that week. If you're in a crisis situation where everybody has to work and one man is down, somebody has to take care of that man and somebody has to take over all of their duties or the mass majority. This is going to happen. It happens frequently. Okay, so you need to be prepared for that. That can go a hundred different ways. Preparation can be, again, having plan B through Z. Lots of food storage, lots of water storage. Everybody needs to, to a certain degree, understand and share all skill sets. My husband can milk the cow for me. Okay, my oldest son could probably milk the cow for me. The cow has to be milked, period, twice a day. You know, some things, you know, some things don't have to be done all the time. Like right now, we've pulled back some things. We've worked really hard in getting our homestead prepped um, for the season, so a couple of days loosening up on a few things is not so severe. As long as the animals are well taken care of, you know, dishes are rotated, laundry kind of keeps going, other things can wait until we're back in full mode in a couple of days. But it brings home the point, what are you going to do? If you're the only person that knows how to milk the cow, feed the chickens, you know, collect the honey, you know, any type of medical skills. So pull your children. It goes back to my video about it's a family affair. You need to be teaching your kids. They, even if they're not hands-on as much as you are, they need to be watching. I know in a pinch that my son can go down and milk the cow. He's down there with me every day that I do it. He knows how to bring her into the stanchion. He knows what to feed her and how much. He knows how to spray her teats and wash them down and what the, so the soaps that I use and how to dry her appropriately. He knows how to start the process. Uh, you know, you have to start it before you start collecting uh, so you can get the bacteria out. He collects it. Um, he knows that so much, you know, if there's so much in there, pour it off. Don't keep it. Um, he knows how to, you know, you get to strip her down and get her clean again and let her out he knows all of this he can knows that he knows how to pour the milk off all my kids do you need to go through all of these things the critical skills and the critical things that need to be done need to be openly seen and discussed casually all the time so that if you're down it's not a big deal for somebody to step in because if they don't know how to do it and it has to be done you talk about a, a, a quite a feat so I want you to think about all of these things, along with those things just as well. The more your homestead is prepared, because if it's, if it's going to start affecting your food supply, you know, what if you're in a food crisis situation, you don't have a backup plan, which is going to be a complete source of pressure, then you're the main source and you're sick. They don't know how to, you know, stake the tomatoes and plant the beans and pick the suckers off the corn or rotate, whatever. We could talk about this endlessly. So always have a plan A, B, C, D through Z uh, and know that things like this are going to happen. Just, you know, it's going to. I hope this video helps you out. I hope it finds you well. I'm hoping to get better soon. I'm, uh, we're going to fight through it and, uh, you know, we caught it caught it just in time so that's good that's good so we appreciate y'all watching we hope you enjoy our videos we hope they help you out it's to make you think it's not to scare anybody in this little series and uh it's like all this this little series just came together i guess god wants y'all to know some stuff right so that's good y'all take care out there be sure to check us out on facebook instagram and pinterest we'll be talking to you soon we have some more videos coming that i've already pre-filmed so they're pretty cool so we'll get those going soon and i'm going to kind of lighten my load, guys. So we'll talk to you soon. Have a great season, and we'll talk to you soon.